Making sure things are working. Making sure things are working. Making sure things are working. Making sure things. Wow, I was gonna get weird real quick. Okay, so we're gonna be good here in just a second. Just gonna go ahead and spread the Louvre. The Louvre, man, the Louvre. Let's see. I come up here. I go to announcements. Live chat tag. Click. What? What just? What just? What just happened? I said click. Thank you. And then I close down Discord, so it doesn't bing me all the time. And then I go over to the Facebook. Do, 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 do. Sorry, people. I will be with you shortly, but it's okay. Go ahead and start to. Uh, Speaking. There we go. Do, 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 do. Okay. So the October October live chat. And I can't spell October apparently. Yeah. That's always good. When you work with words all the time, it's always good to completely fail the simple things in life. Okay, so I've done that. I've told those. I went there. I blasted that. Got to go here. Oop. Okay. 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 Pretty sure. Pretty sure I'm good now. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. We're gonna we're gonna give a few a few more minutes, basically, for people to slowly uh, trickle in. It is 10 a.m. on the Pacific Coast here on Sunday the 15th. Uh, so you know, maybe early afternoon for you if you're across the coast of America, and then like early evening if you're across the pond in the, the UK and Europe. And I have no idea. I, I'd have to break out the thing, but I think it's like 14 hours. Is it the other way for Australia? I forget. I know Australia is like more, and it's. I think it's the other side of things. So I get confused. It is sometime in Australia. I'm sure I will have somebody here in Australia that will uh, clue me in, perhaps, if they are uh, anyone here. All right, uh, let's let's touch on personal first before we get into bookie stuff. So those people who are here for bookie stuff have a chance to slowly trickle in. Personal wise, um, the sassiest rug that ever sassed has a uh, has passed on us. Um, it's uh, not not the best times in the world. Um, he uh, ended up with major nosebleeds again, and after a couple of infusions and whatnot, it was a uh, time so sadness has uh mostly pervaded the home but uh it is and a cat there's a cat and then uh i also have to deal with irse stuff come tuesday so it never rains it pours Fun times. That's personally things. Um, let's talk about things that people are probably here for. Um, bookie stuff. Bookie stuff is is can be can be much much better. Um, I am looking at releasing <coughs> looking at releasing uh, Lux Voice Seven Real Laid Plans on the twenty fifth of this month. Um, I do not think it'll move up again, guys. It's basically in the last stages of the editing process, and uh, it went from November fifteenth to October twenty fifth. At this point, I'm pretty sure that it, it'll it'll get published in ten days. 
Um, I would not expect it a, a day earlier than that. I will do my damnedest not make it a day later than that at this point. I am currently writing Binding Words 11. Um, it will be the last of Binding Words. I am I am well over half on it. Um, things things are progressing. Um, everything everything for the Binding Words uh, series will wrap up. Um, so eleven books, uh, five years to tell Ston Sean's story. Ston's story, yes, Ston. I don't I don't know who Ston is, but apparently he's going to get a story at some point. Sean's story of uh, his deal with Morgan and his life uh, in the queendom and the trials and tribulations he faced. Um, not the action-packed, let's go kill the demon lord type stories that you can find basically everywhere. Uh, the more laid-back, relaxed stuff that I am uh, known for. I noticed that... Can I fix that? Oh, hang on. I want to see if I can fix something. Like live this is there a way let's just 34 maybe maybe uh da, 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 da. Now i gotta go over here and see if it worked yeah there we go so i had to i had to reduce the text down by two points Okay, so at least all the words now are on the screen. Um, so Binding Words 11 will will end Binding Words. Um, bittersweet. I mean, five five something years with the characters, eleven books. It's it's been a journey, but uh, all all of my series have a start and an end, and uh, we're just we're just happening to reach the end of a cycle. Um, I have decided that I will be moving forward with Heavenly Chaos, which is going to be my cultivation slash lit RPG um series i already have the first book of it written so it'll it'll slot into place in the editing cycle when it comes around um so i, I hope you guys are looking forward to that it does have some more uh what is the word i am looking for it does have some some throwback to alpha world in the sense of there is going to be personal trauma four main characters um it's it's something that i have i haven't really delved back into since then so something for you guys to look forward to in that if if you enjoyed how i handled things with alpha world um uh, the couple of uh, alpha readers i've had read it uh really enjoyed it um there's 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 depths to it that uh will slowly be released as things go on so i i hope everyone is going to enjoy it that also, let's see, um, that, and then of course when I'm done with writing Binding Words, I'll be moving on to uh, Aether's Revival 8, uh, Proven Strength, uh, which will be the Kroga arc for Aether's Revival. Um, on the audio front, Andy is currently recording Antecedents Legacy 2, because she has to get that to Podium, because they've already put up the pre-order in December. Um, I probably could have pulled the exact date for that, because that's, that's on pre-order. So if you wanted to pre-order the Antecedents Legacy 2 audio just to have it when it comes out, it's already there, guys. You can you can pre-order it. So Andy has to finish recording it to get it to them so it can go through their process and corrections and stuff can be done. But she is currently recording it. Um, I think she said she has two more days on it. So if you want to hear her record it live, the last bits of it recorded live, um, Monday and Tuesday, she thinks she'll wrap on Tuesday. And then as soon as she's done with Antecedents Legacy... She's rolling immediately into Aether's Revival 7. They would have been the other way except deadlines. So Antecedents and Aether's are being recorded back to back. Um, Antecedents is a firm pre-order date in December. And um, with the way things go, we'll probably also be seeing uh, Aether's Revival 7 uh, moral stand audio drop in December as well. Because, I mean, she's going to record it. At the end of November, it's going to go to her people to get the audio cleaned up. Um, corrections from me, corrections from them. Then we hand it over to ACX. It might be like late November, or it'll be like early December when that pops. I think the podium pre-order is like the end of December. So there is that. Um, 
I don't know if she's going to get in Lux Voice 7 Railway Plans audio before the end of the year. I know she has like four other books already lined up after mine. So maybe, maybe not. Um, but that's what happens when you get sick. When, when, you, when you end up sick repeatedly, it's going to push things off. When you're a narrator, it pushes things off even more because you need your fucking voice to do that shit. Um, I think that's pretty much the good go-around. Anything on my calendar? Oh, um, we, we did pass the, the seven-year uh, published writer anniversary on October the 3rd. I, I should talk about that. There were 30 winners, uh, 10 across each platform. Facebook, Discord, and Patreon all had their winners. So there are going to be three names from those lucky cameo winners who will be inserted into Lux Voice 7. Um, I hope they enjoy their spots, and if you're an asshole who gets shot, well, these things happen. When you choose a cameo slash red shirt, you might be the guy who deserves to be shot in the head, you might be the archivist, and be around for God only knows how long. These, these are just the way things are. All right, now, now I'll start in on chat, guys. I uh, did not know Jay. I don't. I don't know if you're if you're taking names for me. Please, if you are, um, please please take names of people I reply to, and uh, questions and stuff I answer. So uh, I can uh, I can get people on the list because. Normally we have we have more we have more moderators today we have Jay. So it's three a.m. Brisbane Australia time. Oof. Okay, so a bit early. So seven so seven hours sooner than here, basically. Okay, and then it's it's the other way going to like the UK. It's like seven hours later in the UK. Okay, I might be able to rem remember that Australia is ba Australia is the opposite of the UK. <laughs> I, I should be able to remember this a little easier going forward. Just, you know, for laughs. Okay. Now we will we will scroll down and see what everyone has to say. Hmm. Uh, when you start to think about it, really, uh, the IRS doesn't tell you how much you owe. The, 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 the way the tax system in the U.S. works compared to, like, the rest of the freaking known world is... Yeah, it just is. It just is. Uh, you've really been enjoying teasing us, teasing us about by, about book eleven on Twitter. I'm not I'm not teasing Drigus. I'm just letting you know that you know, hey, I'm 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 producing. I'm getting chapters done, and some interesting things are happening. It's not like I'm going out of my way. I'm not giving you like you know sentences out of the book that would really tease you, because that would that would just be mean. So it does it does mean that come the twenty sixth of October, Lux Voice will be published on Patreon on the twenty sixth. The preview chapters of Binding Words Eleven will start. So for those for those people who, who absolutely want to see like the first little bits of Binding Words Eleven, Patreon will start getting them on the twenty sixth. The first chapter is open to the public, guys. So if you, even if you just want to read the very first chapter of Binding Words 11 on the 26th over on my Patreon, it's there. It's open to the public, that first chapter. So everyone can go over and see that first chapter if they want. Uh, Root, congratulations. You made a stream. I hope you enjoy your time here. Okay, I've, uh, I've answered that. Okay. Look at Jay doing 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 the work. Well done, Jay. It's a lot of pinned things. I'm not even sure how pinned things work. So I'm I'm not gonna touch anything because I'm gonna break it. Cultivation lit RPG. Does that mean deeper into cultivation and crunchier numbers? Um, there are numbers. Um, I am I I will I will do my best to make sure they stay relevant. Unlike. 90% of lit RPG cultivation because I mean once you get to a strength of 5,000 what does that mean you punch planets to death I mean and if that's the case 
how does anyone survive the the planet punchers honestly um so it's it's it, it's it's my take of trying to combine the two of them um and as with all things most of that is backdrop to the character story because i focus on characters more than anything else so i hope you guys like it we'll see what happens when we get there no xerox i don't get 5000 pre-orders dude it it doesn't happen. I appre I appreciate you thinking that I am that I am that amazing and popular. I am not that amazing and popular. I am I I if I if I did like a Kickstarter, I wouldn't be anywhere near Sanderson or Will Wright or uh, MSC or any of the rest of them. Okay, I would I would be in I would be in line with like the the rest of the genre that I that I that I think that I fit in with like Tau and Chatfield. Uh, I will agree. Andy, Andy is amazing, Serenia. But but everyone who who listens to Andy knows that she is amazing. What are you going to do for LitCon this year? Um, they haven't published. They asked us what panels we'd like to be on Xerox. Um, they haven't fully formed and told us when the panels are and what days and everything else. So I can't say yet what I am doing for Guildify Con is actually what it's called now. So for Guildify Con, which is the online like lit RPG convention, um, it's mostly held on uh, Alaron's LR, uh, lit RPG page. Um, they haven't they haven't given us the block block schedule yet, so I can't say. Um, once I know what days I'm going to be on panels and things are going to happen, I'll post it up on social media, the, the the standard social media, Twitter, Discord, and Facebook, for you guys to to know what's going on. And if my screen will stop pausing, I should probably be slightly less Italian. But if I stop being so Italian, my camera might not freak out as much. How did MX Hub do finance-wise? Um, it it was right in line with the first book. Um, it didn't have the 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 drop off that I saw from like Dungeon Walkers one to two. Um, I, I, if if I remember right, because I I pulled the numbers on it. Um, I want to say they were like neck and neck with each other. Um, so those those were both pre-order books. The next one I am not going to do a pre-order on. That I want to see if that if that shifts the bar any. Because a lot of the it, for for my for my the, the diehard fans who like take the book on Kindle Unlimited, read it, wait to the next calendar month, turn it back in, and then buy it, so like I can get double dipped on it. I want to see if that makes a difference, um, especially if it's like if I release it mid month because then it's that thirty day period. Because I I take a snapshot of the thirty day release to thirty day end, not the calendar month. So that tells me exactly how well a book is doing um, for for their 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 uh, release time time window. So it'll be interesting. I'm definitely not going to do a pre-order for for Antecedents Legacy three um, when it comes out, which you know I'll I'll get to writing at one point when it comes up in the schedule. So. On a personal level, if I was put into a book, I'd want to be a really short red shirt character. I mean, Shank, it, it, it ends up the the window dressing characters basically is where the red shirt names go. Um so you might end up as hey look there's a cat. You might end up as like say the grandmaster of a clan who's only got five sentences in a in a book who might or might not show up again later. You might be the quasi abuser that alvin shoots in the head and anything in between those of course i guess the other the other extreme besides being the abuser gets shot in the head is like serenia who's the archivist who is like in the background doing things forever or um paul who uh was teaching them how to uh fight earlier in the academy but you 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 might be a orca bestial you might be a grandmaster magi of a clan who's kind of skeezy it it just is. You don't you don't get to choose. You give me the right to take your name and stick it where I want to. So that's that's why taking those slots is is a hit or miss for you guys. So uh, 
Yes, sir. Yeah, I, I know it rises in the east and sets in the west, but it doesn't help me with Australia because doesn't it like rise like under and then come up? Because you know it's down under. It's a bad joke. I apologize. I I I feel bad for saying it. Australia has different daylight savings times. You mod there sometimes. So you have it on your phone. Big enough. But, uh, fair enough, big trucker. Uh, and I appreciate that. At least then I can remember it's seven-ish, eight-ish hours between here and there, which is like the UK. So I just have to remember it's it's opposite of the UK, which I'm I'm going to remember it now because I find that vastly and vastly amusing just because reasons in history. Do you really think it takes a sentence to tease us addicts? I mean, it de it depends on the, just how addicted you are, I guess, Trigus. I mean, for some people, you might need a little bit more. For other people, you just kind of need the hint, you know, little 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 strip tease kind of thing, hint. And, you know, that might be enough for other people. I'm, I'm not going to cast dispersions, though. Everyone's different. Uh... How far ahead of you are 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 you in writing? I, I'm working on Binding Words 11 right now. Z, um, so I am basically a book ahead because Lux Voice 7 hasn't published yet. Um, but like when I get around to next the next cycle after Binding Words 11 ends and Heavenly Chaos takes a spot, I've I've already written that book, so it's it's gonna let me jump a little further again um so it, it, it's going to be interesting i think the hulk was so strong he punched time himself probably but comic stuff does does really weird things at times daniel i uh have a uh, how the fur baby has been behaving themselves. Um, ever ever since we we had to say goodbye to Loki Outlaw, um, the rest of the animals have been okay. Um, he was he was the last one. So at the moment, our other animals are doing okay. We got to take one of them in for an ear infection. We're pretty sure, but nothing nothing like you know bleeding five gallons from the nose. Uh, I I liked the tier system that you use in Aethers versus Numbers. Yeah, Root. Um, that that was because I wanted Magic Magic Academy cultivation. I like I like taking different ideas and putting them together. I mean, that's why we have a weird Western. That's why we have the Magic Academy cultivation series. That's why I have a fantasy sci-fi series. I, l I like taking different things and making something different out of them. I like taking two different ideas and making something different out of them um, all together. Some, I mean, probably not new because there's very, very, very few things that are new under the sun nowadays. Um, but I like, I like making my own ball of mud to work with. Oh, uh, how's uh... Yeah, that's fine, Mick Widowmaker. Um, I mean, because for some people, some people have it down to like, okay, I know I bought it on the 16th, I'm buying it next month on the 16th, and nobody has to do that. Just read it on Kindle Unlimited, just buy it, combine them if you want. I am not, I am never going to ask people to do something other than what they would, what they want to do. Do what, do what works for you. That's all. I wait till the next book to come out uh, when I do KU to buy book swap. So not one month, but several. That's fair enough, Marius. I mean, we, we, there, there's nothing wrong with that. 
I mean, at least then it reminds you, oh, hey, the new Shinofen book came out. I'm getting that on Kindle Unlimited. Oh, I need to go back and buy the last one I had just read that I had read on Kindle Unlimited. That's every six to eight weeks. So, I mean, that's that's totally fine. And I appreciate that. Uh, or you can be a liquor vendor. That's right, Paul Vatikavinich. You can sell you can sell wine and diluted wine to Magi in a town near you. Marius, they get offered twice a year. They get offered at my full time writer anniversary in May. They get offered in my published anniversary in October. When I hold those two contests, I mean, in nearly half a year apart on each of them, those are your chances to, to be redshirted. Um, I, I am keeping a, a spreadsheet list now. So once somebody wins once and they get put into any of the series, they are not going to win again and go into another series. That is for my editors to not kill me. I have, I have been given the approval that when a series ends, I can go ahead and start reusing names from a specific series. So like since Apocalypse Gates has ended, it would be okay if I had an Alvin in place somewhere. Not a, not as a main character, because I'm not going to do that, but like as a supporting character, I can have an Alvin. And my, my editors won't kill me anymore. So I do have I do have a little bit of leeway, but I, I want more and more people to feel like, you know, they have they've made it into a book. I'd, I would hate for the same person to be in like every series outside of Skippy. But hey, if your name is if your name happens to be Skippy, I mean, I'm probably not gonna not gonna correct you if you want to go around saying that you're the guy who gets killed all the time. I mean, I don't know why you would want that, but are there marine animal year ticks? Um, we haven't we haven't seen the coast Z. Um, I know. One of the things I know that I that is is my head canon for Antecedents Legacy. They're predators, so they have to for for Antecedents Legacy. The animas are predator predator based, or at least omnivore based. They can't be herbivore based. Um, so that 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 is one thing I'm doing there. Um, for other series though, um, you will you will see some some marine animal kin in some of my series. Main reason I don't start your books when I have to get up is when I have to get up early. I lost more than one night's sleep that way. Fair enough, Jurius. I don't blame you, man. I have I have lost I have lost hours of sleep reading books as well. I remember I, I used I used to be an avid reader. I would crush through book, you know, over a book a day before I started writing. Then, uh, like, the time just kind of, like, slipped away at that point, because I had things to do. Uh... Thank you, Outlaw Thaw. Yeah, some, so, somebody, somebody posted a meme on Facebook about uh, a, basically oblivious main characters. So I made sure to post up the Clue by Four art that was done in reference to Sean in Binding Words, how he needed a Clue by Four to the back of the head to realize that women were interested in him. Um, so so the, the Clue by Four by itself and then the finished art of the Clue by Four with uh, Sean Tested Harem Approved are up on Facebook. Because it's just funny. And like, not all of my main characters are that are that oblivious. Sean, though, based on my real life friend, is that oblivious. So I, I had to I had to bring over that character trait because it's funny. I I do Kindle Unlimited and then Audible, and that's totally fine, Root. Uh, do, 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 do. Will will he write harem books so things get 
I must have missed a comment somewhere. What are you reading right now? Have you ever read any good system rebirth stories where the MC reaches the pinnacle and brought back in time to his younger self and redoes it? Um, it's not a not a storyline that I'm normally that I normally do. That I normally follow. Um, I mean, it's for me honestly, like with with the foresight that Gregory has, um, some of it gets difficult to to parse through when when he's telling me stories. Of, of what's going on because it would be very hard to surprise someone who knows what's coming. And if, if you're doing something like a complete rebirth, he just knows how his life went last time. As soon as he makes one major choice that is different, everything he's known before is pretty much going to become non, not important because he's already made a, a major life shift. That is one of the bigger problems I have with like that I'm reliving my life series is as soon as you've changed one major event, you probably have shifted more than half of the rest of the life of that timeline out of the picture entirely. Um, so it, it's it would be difficult. I always find it difficult, especially when the timelines are adhering so well together, even though the main character is changing things. It gets it gets difficult from 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 my point of view to to read them and enjoy them at that point. Normally, pop culture references and books pull me out of book immersion, but with your books, I I actively hunt for them. Um, I I try not to oversaturate, ah, uh, Archeron. Um, probably why. Um, some authors like it's all pop culture references, this and that. And even even when I yank them out of out of you know life and throw them in another world, they're not going to reference that many things. Um, and that's just because me and my friends don't reference that many pop culture things on a day to day basis. Um, the thing that gets referenced most often is going to be things like the quotes from the Princess Bride. So using those, I think is fair game. But like Swiggity Sooty, it just it worked at the time, and he is from our world, so it works. Greg is never going to say swiggity swiggy. I can see where that would pull you completely out of the fucking story. No, Skippy, Sk the Skippy rule is Skippy is allowed to be in every series. He has to die. Um, normally within the same book he's he is he is introduced in the the longest I've stretched that out besides Alpha World where Skippy originated was binding words and that's because nobody knew Carver's name his first name until later. But if 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 they get introduced as Skippy like that is how they're addressed then expect that man to die in a, in a probably decent amount of time since since he's he's mentioned it it's not gonna it's not it shouldn't take too terribly long once his once the name skippy is on the table and in some cases you get surprise skippies like hey the guy died oh hey look his dog tag called him skippy uh so i have to wait for ar to end to be in a new series i don't know which i want Paul, you want you want to be in a new series, I understand. However, is it worth the cost? That's what you gotta ask yourself. Is it worth the cost? I used to crush movies and TV series. Now it's all about audiobooks. Fair enough, Big. Um, I actually don't watch a lot of TV. Uh, we have we have DVDs that we'll watch an episode at dinner as a family, me and the girlfriends. And then once a week, I go over to my friend's house and we'll have dinner and we'll watch a couple episodes of whatever anime we're watching at the time. And that pretty much is it for my TV watching. Um, there are a lot of shows that people will tell me, dude, this is amazing. You got to get to this. If it's, if it's sitting down and watching a TV show or playing for an hour in a video game or reading for an hour or even writing for an hour, I'd rather do something else other than watch TV. 
especially since half the things I, I end up watching on TV or used to watch on TV used to the plot. Some of the plot holes were just like, why? No, no, nobody. No, nobody. No. So t TV killed me as 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 somebody um, from that point of view. I think. Oh, what's this button do? I shouldn't have done that. Okay, I think I've almost caught up to you guys again, which is which is sad. I'm I'm normally not this not not right on top of you guys this this quickly. Wow, that's a thing, I guess. Ah, uh, where was I? Uh, TVs, yes. Uh, do we have any pumpkin carving artists who could make a pumpkin based on one of Daniel's books? I cannot. I can't. I can barely draw stick figures, so I, I'm going to be out of that. A reclusive introvert who doesn't quote pop culture never would have believed it. You have to be up on pop culture to be able to quote pop culture, Arkron. That's the problem. Since I don't watch TV, I don't have a whole lot of pop culture. The Skippy once revealed not has to don his red shirt and get sent on the away team with the captain and the head of medical and the lead engineer because that's just how that works. Uh, I haven't watched TV in almost two years. Reading and listening to books is just more entertaining for me. I wish my friends would read with me. That's that's one of the problems, isn't it? Isn't it, McKnight? It's it's. I mean, the the people who read read, and then everyone else sits and watches TV normally. So, if if all your friends are TV watchers, then it get then it gets a little hard to have a conversation when they want to talk about the latest show, and you're like, yes, but book, book. Read book. So since there is limited time for anime watching, what do you pick to watch when you eat a newer series? Um, we, we normally pick, I mean, considering this, there, there are, what, three, four seasons of anime in a year? And uh, normally we can find about two per season that are worthwhile. Well, two seasons of anime is... 26 episodes and we'll watch three or four um every week so we we go through four anime a week and we get let's call it three we'll call it 36 in a in a season uh so over four seasons we're talking 120 we'll call it 150 and we're doing four a week if we did five a week it'd be easy it'd be 30 weeks um so a good like half the year is like newer stuff. A little over half the year is like newer stuff that come that we we let it build up a couple of episodes before we started on things. So normally about half the year is going to be you know whatever the new thing was that came out that we that we thought was interesting and wanted to watch, and then the other half of the time we might go back and watch an old classic. Um, well, I say old classic. We'll go back and watch something we've seen before that we enjoy. I, is what I should say. Um, one of one of my favorite anime still only has like basically the one season of it, and that's Gate. So the Self Defense Force fought. Um, and I don't know if there's ever ever going to be more of that. I don't think so because it's been years since the last one came out. And some people would call it a uh, glorified commercial for the the Self Defense Force of Japan. However, um, otaku military member part of the the force that goes across to the the fantasy world was just fun because it hit a lot of the tropes but it was mostly self-aware of its tropes was worthwhile um from what i understand the mega and stuff had more to it than what they than what than of course the uh, anime um and if i read manga i'd probably do that but i don't read manga so 
but yeah, we, we, we watch newer stuff uh, once we have a, a little bit of a backlog of it. And then otherwise we'll go back and find something that we've enjoyed before and watch it while we wait for something new to pop up. Only drop in for a second. Need to get back to work. Fair enough, CB. Uh, that new follower, Lost Pirates. Hello, Lost Pirates. I'm sure that there would be a few in the community that would love for you to be right on top of them. Yeah, I I find that hard to believe, Jazz. I I appreciate the sentiment. I find that hard to believe. Nobody nobody has come to me and said such things outside of my girlfriends. Even 1 p.m. on Sunday feels kind of early to me. I mean, fair enough. Um, Jen, my my body has has decided it's not going to shift back to the winter schedule, where I used to get up late and then stay up late. I'm apparently just going to be stuck on the uh, summer schedule, which is I get up early and then go to bed early. So, like, this morning I was up at 5 my time. 5 a.m. So I've been up for five and a half hours today. So, yeah. For for some of us, it's it's just a thing. Since I don't wake up by an alarm, I wake up when my body wakes me up. These things happen. My issue is that I can never remember the questions I think of when I read your books for these streams. I mean, that's 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 fair, McKnight. It's not like it's a job. It's not like it's something you have to take care of. Yeah, if you remember it, then you remember it. And as long as it's not from the last book and it's a spoiler, then I'll might actually address it. Modern TV is basically stolen pop culture repurposed for co something completely different. Hmm. I could see a buck. Did you already say Binding Words 11 is the last one? I, I did, CB. Binding Words 11 is the last one. How has Baldur's Gate 3 been going for you? Um, I haven't played a lot, honestly. I've, I've had so much, I've had so much going on that I, I just haven't played much. I'm still in Act 2. Um, my my one my one playthrough my solo playthrough I'm still in Act Two I'm still romancing Carlac even though I know it's going to end in heartbreak. Um, my game with Andy has been put on hold the last couple weeks because her computer decided to go tits up. I was, it went tits up. It's because it died. It floated to the top. I know, but if when I just say it goes tits up, that means to me that sounds like it should be fucking amazing because you know tits they're up. Hey, but whatever. Her computer had issues. She's getting it fixed. So hopefully, like, this Friday or next Friday, she'll have her computer back, and we can get back to the game of me, her, and, and Sammy all playing together again. We're, uh, we're letting her... We're letting Andy be the the talkie-talkie the, the character, and I am just playing the rogue in the background to open locks, disarm traps, and kill things in a the only tactical manner I know how, while the Chaos Goblins are, are themselves. But I still enjoy Baldur's Gate 3, um, the little bit, the little bits that I do play here or there. Um, I just haven't had, like, a four-hour game session in a while. If I'm lucky, I, I, I open it up for half an hour to go. I can clear out a little more of an area. And since I'm a completionist, I will not move on until I have cleared an area out. So, and even with my completionist things, um, I've, I've seen reports of things that I missed, like, back in Act 1. That since I'm in Act 2, I can still technically go back and get to. I just can only do it once. So be just before I finish Act 2, I'm going to make the trip back to Act 1 to hit some of the, the, the spoiler out of the way. That's not spoiler. The out of the way Easter eggs that have been hidden that other people have found. And uh, I'll probably I'll probably um, then go back on with the game again. But it's going to be a while. I'm not going to finish Baldur's Gate 3 anytime soon. When I do, I have No Man's... No Man's... Not No Man's Sky. Oh, hang on. It's going to bother me. Uh, library. Do, 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 do. I have Starfield waiting. No Man's Sky. 
I mean, they're both space games, right? I ha I have I have Starfield waiting for me to get to it still. And I do find the fact that funny that 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 somebody took the time to like figure out how to turn the combat in Starfield into into something laughable with a hollow ship, that just makes me laugh. I have problems with MCs constantly using modern modern US phrases when he's repeatedly told that no one understands them. After more than two times, it just gets annoying. I mean, fair enough, Klee. Um, most of my books fudge around that with the fact there's uh, translation magic going on in the background, some way, somehow, some form. Um, so I, I don't normally run into that as often. Um, in some books, yeah, it would happen. Um, I, I've seen other authors who've, who've gone hell entire series where people are just like what are you saying repeatedly because you know of of colloquialisms um so yeah or even worse pop culture references love how you circle reference for your other books it's almost better than pop culture references it's because i'm i'm making a clear distinction where you cannot say that they're interconnected, they're not; those characters are never going to match up, because all those other characters are book characters for each of the other people. The only one that's never going to happen to is Greg, because he's in his own universe. There's no reason for any reference from any of the other books that would make any sense at all to happen in Aethers. But having Aethers referenced in the other series is fine. But since I don't do crossovers, I want to make sure that, that it's clear that, oh, hey, look, there's a book that ref that is referenced here. So obviously this character can't go into a book. So any chance you're going to see more call signs in AL? Uh, Z used call signs primarily in his first unit. And my brain keeps stumbling over Arla Zarista. Um, I mean, the only time call signs are going to be used is going to be in combat. Um, so will there be more call signs used? Yeah, probably when there's more combat used. We have one cat who has kicked the other cat off of the warm spot because she wants to be by the door. You were, you were told to bring the meth field in, into play? Beans. Beans. Move. Sorry. We are we are trying to let the old lady have the nice warm light and not the cat who decides the closet is 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 uh, Nirvana. Okay. You can go to the warm light now, lady. The little old lady needs her warm. I think that in hindsight, Jazz, and during those moments, I have issues. I put down my Kindle. Must miss something again. What anime are you currently watching? Um, is it Great Healer? I think it's called. Hang on. I can actually answer this question if I take two seconds just to open up another tab. Uh, Reign of the Seven Spellblades. It's okay. Um. Not, not, not amazing in my opinion. Uh, we are watching The Great Cleric, and uh, I am currently on my own working my way through Reborn as a Vending Machine, which is all right. I mean, it's slow. That that Vending Machine is slow, uh, slice of life based anime, so it works for me because it kind of reminds me of my books. You're not expecting things to break. And I just finished watching Horum Mia. H-O-R-I-M-I-Y-A, which was a, 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 a romance, high school romance anime, which was actually fairly well done. I enjoyed the characters in that. Um, we're going to finish The Seven Spellblades and The Great Cleric when I, when I see him again on Thursday. And then we got like 12 of them. 
that are queued up in the background between last season and this season that we just haven't gotten to yet. So, but I, I like the vending machine one just because it is basically there's no demon lord, there's no end of the world. Um, it's basically a mobile demon core or uh, dungeon core for the for the the vending machine it's it's it it was decent enough that i watched it and i knew that it wasn't going to evolve into hey i'm an overpowered slime and can take over the world but i'm i'm not going to do that so uh, uh, have you found any anime that beats gate yet no xerox gate gate at the moment is still my is still my favorite anime Thank you, Lost Pirate. I appreciate that. You say you love all my books, so I appreciate that. Uh... Okay, it was excellent, even if it was self-defense force propaganda. I mean, I enjoyed it just from the different take of things. Uh, try Outbreak Company. I think I started it and didn't finish it lost. I'm not positive, though. Uh, I was promised another season of High School DxD, and it's been years. Fair enough, Big. I think I should probably write this. Continues to read. Oh, look at that. Continues to read. Yeah, fair enough, McKnight. I know how that goes. You know, if, you, if you're reading on the Kindle, though, you can tap and hold the section and make a note. And then later, when you're done reading, you can actually pull up your notes from a book. Just, just a thought for you. Hey, ever think more on the Vegas fan meetup? Um, it is not going to be this year, Marius. Um, I I might attend the um twenty twenty books to fifty k, uh Vegas uh next year, the convention that is for like authory people. Um, I I might since I might attend 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 that convention next year. Um, I I will see about setting up like a, a small meet and greet during that time period. So I will I will look at it. I will let you know. I really find it hard to believe that people are going to come from outside of Vegas just to see me. So, but yeah, it, it's something I'm looking at since I'm actually at thinking of attending the convention. I, I say attending with quotes, guys, because I drive into Vegas one night during that convention normally to have a dinner with like publishers and narrators and stuff that I work with. I have I have a business dinner since they're only an hour and a half away. I figure it's a good time to go in and do that. But I might actually attend, you know, be an attending professional at the convention next year. So that would be a time where I'd be like, okay, since I'm going to be in Vegas and I'm doing this thing anyway, let's see about setting up for that. But honestly, I'll be surprised if 10 people show up outside of like fellow authors because like the the meet and greet i did in atlanta during dragon con that meet and greet there were like maybe 10 fans there and then the rest were other people in the genre you know other writers and uh narrators and stuff which honestly is what i expect does anyone know when the next ar book is going to be released well, the little, um, the next book to be released is going to be Lux Voice 7. It's going to be published at the end of this month. And then I'm looking at publishing Binding Words 11 in like early January currently. So it would be, let's see, January to February, February to March. Currently, tentatively, I would say March sometime. Subject to change. I, if, if you, if, if you look at Discord or Facebook groups, Discord server, the Facebook group. Um, there are pinned posts there under the FAQ and Discord and under just, I think it's, I forget what it's called under fucking Facebook nowadays. The FAQ under Discord and on Facebook, there's a there's a tab for it that has like everything that's 
uh, pinned. I keep the current book to be published and the one right after that noted, but you can always guess about six to eight weeks per book published for series rotation. So at the most about eight months, eight months, because weeks, yeah, about eight months from the last time a book was published is when you should look for the next book of the same series. It'll be out before that eight month period ends, but that gives you like a, a back end guess of what you're going to be looking for. I only put up estimated times for next book and the book after that because I try to always meet or beat that deadline. And the more you keep tacking on, the harder it's going to be to keep that going. I hope that's a that answers your question. Um, also, guys, um, please make sure to check your whispers here. I think they're called whispers. Yeah, whispers here. Upper right-hand corner, little chat box icon. Little uh, floaty text box icon called whispers. I take people people's names that have given me questions and comments that I've talked about. They get added to a list. I then randomize that list and randomly roll on that list and select winners. And then I message them here via whispers to give you guys challenge coins. You get a selected challenge coin from any of the series that I have them for, which at the moment is every series I've published currently. That then means I message you here so I can get your coin you want and your address so I can ship it to you. So I do have people who are with who are outstanding on having one who've never messaged me back. Um, normally within two days of this live chat, so by the 17th, 18th, I will have messaged everybody who's won. And then I wait for them to message me back. And then I then I mail them out. So if you if, if you are one of the winners, you need to message me back so I can get you stuff. I would prefer you do it before the next month. But even like if you do it on the next 15th when, hey, you're here for the live chat and you're like, oh, I should remember to check my whispers. Please do so. Since it's been an hour, I'm going to go ahead and recap just bookie stuff, guys. And then I'm going to get back to the chat stuff. So, um, Antecedents Legacy 2. Um, did good, right in line with book one. Um, no, no, no significant drop off. So good. Um, I feel I feel a little more comfortable now with antecedents because there wasn't there wasn't like a couple hundred to thousand drop off out of it. Um, so it's it's nice to know that people are enjoying the the the, the fantasy mecha series so far. Um, the next book to be published will be on the 25th of this month. It's going to be Lux Boy 7 Rail Laid Plans, um, the continuation of Doc and what he is going to do. Um, the preview chapters have been on Patreon. They will stay up on Patreon until the 24th. I have to pull them down on the 24th so I can get ready to publish on the 25th so I don't end up against Amazon's Terms of Service and then on the 26th of Patreon, we will see these, the first parts of the preview chapters of Binding Words 11, which then tells us what the next book to be published is after Lux Voice. It's going to be Binding Words 11. Excuse me. Divine Agreements. Excuse me. And then after that, I will get around to doing um, Aether's Revival 8, Proven Strength, which is going to be the start of the Kroga arc for Aether's Revival. Audio-wise, Andy is currently recording Antecedents Legacy 2. Uh, she only has a couple more days till she's done recording, she says. And then after that, she's going to roll into Ad, uh, Aether's Revival 7, Moral Stand audio recording. So we hope to have both of those audiobooks to you guys in December, if not sooner. Well, Antecedents Legacy 2 is going to be in December. That's on pre-order through Podium. We hope to then get uh, Aether's Revival to you like end of November, beginning of December. It's all going to depend on stuff um audio for lux voice 7 when it does publish is probably going to run into next year we will see but i i wouldn't expect to see it until next year sometime and that catches us up on book stuff and now i'll go back to chatting with you guys
Uh. Uh. Oh, uh, Argaron did ask, so I, I will talk about that book stuff too. Argaron asked what, what, what is going to replace Binding Words. Binding Words is going to be replaced by Heavenly Chaos. It is going to be my cultivation slash lit RPG series that is going to have some personal um, mental health issues for main characters. Um, plus some things that I'm really looking forward to. Um, it, it's going to be it's going to be what you would hopefully expect to see from a an expansive cultivation series while keeping the numbers not stupid. But we will see what you guys think as time goes on here. Uh, let's see. Just, I just started Baldur's Gate. Oh, fair enough, Kuma. Um, I mean, for, for a lot of people, if, if you're not spending like every waking hour writing different things, um, you'll probably get way more time than I do. So, yay. Uh, where? Am I no no man Skyrim? I mean, that's that's what that's what I heard, Widowmaker. Uh, need to go, but we'll watch the posted video. Fair enough, Clay. I just looked the culture references up. I find it interesting sometimes. Constant though, it becomes more like a book report. Fair enough. The last time I went through AR, I've been wondering why does Greg give information on this magic to Damon or the archive? Is he is he being forced to do so, or does he want to volunteer some information? Um, why was he doing it at all? Because he's a affable guy and he was asked to do so, but he was keeping things back from them. Does does he one hundred percent have to? Not when he was doing it. Um, could it become an order from the sage of the academy and or the head of his clan and or the emperor? Yes, it could become. So why why put yourself in the position of being voluntold if you can volunteer and keep some stuff back? I mean, Greg, Greg is just, especially in the first few books, he's just a genuinely nice guy. There is a master mega magus master master magi who was basically like i want to know about your magic greg being the nice guy is going to be like yo okay but also the fact that this is a man was i like four or five tiers above him not not, not great for the whole oh by the way i'm not going to cooperate with you mm, it's not that's not not how that works Uh, what is the, what is the print over your left shoulder? This, this is my window. So this is my curtain and it's a uh, golden, golden dragons, golden Chinese dragons and red flames. That's, that, that's what that is over my shoulder. If you're talking about behind me, that's, that's a uh, Chinofen books sign done in pearly bead art that uh, Sammy made for me. And then there's my Dragon Con badges and my Dragon Con uh, panel um, name that uh, are on the door. I'll probably have a bit of a collage when I end up with my own office. So, oh, look at that. Mouthy Maven appeared. Hey, Andy, you should be spending time with your house guest not being here. But I appreciate you stopping in. Um, I am only whew, 15 minutes back from from where current chat is, so you know things. Uh, 
I haven't tried farming in another world yet. Um, if it comes up on the list, I'll probably watch it. I use Crunchyroll for watching anime. So if if it comes up on Crunchyroll, I'll probably end up watching it. No problem, McKnight. Um, hope your headache clears up for you, man. Rest up. Not not that you should still be here 15 minutes later, but you know, hey. Uh, have you read anything interesting lately other than Vixen Warbride? I mean, Vixen Warbride was really good, and I really hope to see the last book of that series before the year ends. Um, what was I reading the other day? There was something that I had mentioned. The first three books of a series. He, he split them into arcs. Um, the first book was called Quarter Share. It was Quarter Share, Half Share, Full Share. They're the first three books of a series. Um, I forget who the author is off, off the top of my head, but it was basically like uh, Age of Sail set in space. Now, the main character basically gets in as the lowest of the low, on a on a on a trading space trading ship and just goes through life trying to goes basically goes through day-to-day -day life trying to survive and grow up and learn um the first three books of that series i read and i enjoyed them and then i had conflicting reports from people i trust about the second arc of the series, books four through six, and I have not read them yet because the the conflicting viewpoints from people I trust on how good they were going to be, and I have other books that I need to get to, so I'll probably get to them at some point, but I have not done so. Um, there 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 is a fan who who wrote a book, wrote her own book, had been, has been working on it for a long time. She's a fan on my server and a fan on Andy's server. Um, she published her first book. It is in my TBR pile. I think it is the next book I am getting to. Um, and I can't think of can't think of the name of it. And I'm not opening up Discord at the moment because then my my computer will explode with pings. Um, but I I have another book that I'm looking forward to get to because the person who wrote it is is a, a, a just a generally genuinely not generally genuinely nice person, and I want to I want to support them. And other people here could probably see there. Serenia put it up for me. I, I can see current chat like on my screen outside of where I'm slowly going through chat. So uh, Arden's Tears by Ren um, is the book that is in my TBR pile that is going to be the next book I get to. Oh, where? That was that question. So let's scroll a little bit. Uh, just wanted to say, thoroughly enjoyed Antecedent's Legacy 2, and I'm currently rereading Lux Voice in preparation of the new one. Thank you, Morgan. I appreciate that. I hope you'll enjoy Lux Voice 7 when we get to it. Uh... When you have finished... When I finished the book, I would have forgotten before I made it out. I mean, it's fair, Jazz. That's why I was saying, while you read, if there's something that, that strikes your fancy, you can always just tap a, a, a note on it right then before moving on. But, you know, it's, that's up to whether or not people want to do that kind of thing. I don't. So. I really feel like Antecedents is going to have a big change when Xander meets the humans. You mean the Terrans from the Terran Federation? That might or might not be happening in book three. I can't say. I will go to I will go to Vegas for less reason. I live in SoCal. Fair enough, Marius. Um, look look at twenty four. Um, it I think the twenty books thing is normally like October November. Um, has been fairly consistent for them. So October November of twenty of twenty twenty four, I will see about doing that kind of thing. Uh, any beard care tips? I'm jealous and I have difficulty growing mine that long. Um, take care of it. I mean, basically just, you know, wash it, comb it, keep it out of food shredders, you know, just, just general care. I don't, 
I don't do anything special with my beard. It just is. I think it's basically just everything from here is just moved down. It's it's the slow progression. As you can see, I have grays and stuff now. I blame my sisters for those. I don't have kids, so I have my animals. Maybe my animals gave me gray hair. That's sad. I'm going to blame my sisters. I like blaming my sisters for things. Normally it's true, so... You pull 10 people from the good stuff at Dragon Con. I mean, it was a Thursday. Not a lot going on on Thursdays. I don't really consider it pulling away from at that point. I work too much for too little pay to get to meet my favorite creators. Yeah, it's out. That's, that's, that's life. I know that feeling. I was there for the longest time. What coins are you lowest on? Um, probably aethers, honestly. But coins, coins are one of the things that if if I like, I'm going to run out. I'll get another small batch of them in, because they're the things that I always give away. Um, I I will order less of them. Like when I first order a batch, I order something like 250 of them. It's it's a chunk. Um, but I know that eventually I'll I'll I will give them away. Um, what I have more of than I could possibly give away currently is going to be Last Hor not Last Horizons, Resurrection Quest, the Forgotten Book. After that, it's probably Last Horizons. I have to take the kids to sell stuff. No problem, Paul. You're one coin away from a full collection lost. Damn. Good job. The only people I know who have full collections currently are my officer core. So, and that's because I give them a coin. So if if you've just happened to one in, to win enough times, to almost have the full collection. Well done. Are you done writing Binding Words Eleven? And is Eleven going to be the last book? I am currently writing Binding Words Eleven, and yes, it is going to be the last book. No problem, Jazz. Thanks for stopping in. I really enjoyed the first Antecedents, and I'm waiting for the audiobook. Well, then you could pre-order it. It's up on pre-order. Uh, and Andy's currently recording it, so. When do we? When do you think you're going to get our hands on Heavenly Cultivation? About eight months after Binding Words 11 publishes, Kuma. Do you have an end goal for Antecedents Legacy? Yes, I do, Bravel. I have an end goal for every series I write. Um... Life has shown me, though, that I also need to put in, like, small little kickouts when I think about my series at the start. So if things go in ways that I'd rather they don't, like Dungeon Walkers, I have outs that give you at least some closure and you don't feel like you're stuck there on a series that's never going to finish. But when I start a series, I always have the ending in mind. I know the beginning. I know the ending. What my characters do in the middle of that is completely up to them. And luckily so far, my characters haven't fucked me by taking too hard of a left in the middle of the series. Just want to thank you, say thank you for your series, Antecedents and Aethers actually got me into reading again outside of just listening to audio. Blame the three plus hours of commute each day. I listened to them too many times. Fair enough, this. Um, one of the reasons I do audiobooks are for the people who don't have time to read, but have time to listen. Um, normally, like my truckers, or I have a friend who's basically dyslexic. Don't read a lick, but he'll listen to an audiobook. Um, that's why I do audio. Audio is audio is never going never going to be like an amazing thing that I'm making hundreds of thousands of dollars on. But it does it does give me some money, and it is good for people who don't have time to read. So I am perfectly fine. I do not lose money on audiobooks. So um, that and it helps me keep Andy employed. And I, I really enjoy the way she voices my books. And it then gives me the chance to re-listen to my books before I have to write the next book of a series. So it's all around a good thing for me. But I never got into writing and thought, I'm going to make audiobooks. That was just, that's something that came later. Did the latest Binding Words give you any hard left turns? 
or is it just interesting and going where you think it should? It's going where I think it should outlaw. Um, there were there are a couple of small blah 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 that happened, but nothing that was so so outside of of what I what I thought was going to happen. Um, the series the series is going to end like I thought it would from the very beginning. Um, Morgan, no, I'm gonna go with Heavenly Chaos over over my uh, Demon Punk um, series. I I really enjoyed the characters from Heavenly Chaos. I've I've had a couple of alpha readers read the first book of both, and uh, the the unanimous consensus was that Heavenly Chaos should be the next series out. So Heavenly Chaos is going to be going to be what's stepping into that gap. Um, my Demon Core, my Demon Punk series is going to be left on deck waiting at the moment. Wants to note that releasing additional entries in the series triggers me to revisit the series start to finish. I mean, fair enough, Big. But if 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 you're if you're you know doing an audiobook a day, that's not that bad then, because it it's not going to take you two and a half months to get through things. If you're only getting an hour to read or listen to something a day, then that's a very big time investment. I hope I hope it's okay, Eve. That's the thing. Um, I mean, I, I wrote it, and I think I do okay with it. So, and Andy, you and Dame can creep on me all you want. I don't mind them the least. She snuck in. I don't know if she's still here or not. She might have snuck away again. Have you read Path of Ascension? They do a great job with cultivation of stupid without stupid numbers destroying everything. Um, I think I have, Marius. I'm fairly certain I have. Fairly certain. Um, yes, I have. Um, I read the last book in that series, and I was uh, sad that it wasn't apparently the tournament arc that somebody had told me it was going. That somebody had hinted that it might be. Apparently, that's going to be the next book. So. I was really looking forward to a tournament arc, and then the tournament arc didn't happen, so mm, I have to wait. Uh, need another Andy Daniel uh, stream. Outlaw, you'll probably get that next month if things line up. So, possibly. As you should, you have you have company. You should be spending time with them. The fact that you're both spending it watching me is weird. Then again, the f the fact there are 29 people here currently, and I think we had 35 at one point. To me, is just weird too, because I think I'm just a a weird guy who lets the stories in his head out. So hey, that's fine. Nah, farming in other worlds on high dive. I don't think I have a high dive account currently. Um, I did at one point. I think I let it go. Have you ever contacted the author of Vixen Warbright? Um, not personally, Bravel. I commented on this page a couple of times. I know that he has uh, children um, and that he is not a full-time author. So I, I am not going to bother the man about his writing habits. When it is not a full-time job, and he has children to take care of, so. Traders' tales of the golden age of solar of the solar clipper. Thank you, Art. Thank you, Jay. Nathan Lowell. Some somebody pulled it out. Somebody else pulled his name. Uh, Widowmaker pulled pulled the name ahead just ahead of you, I think. But um, yeah, the, I I enjoyed the first three books. I mean, if if you want to go back and talk about other series that I've read, especially like sci-fi series, you can go back to. Oh my God, I just blanked. Hang on, I'm I'm gonna fix this. Because I know this will pull it up. Uh, Bejeweled series, the Vorkosigan saga. Um. Uh, the main character is is not physically imposing in any way, shape, or form. However is able to talk his way into and out of mischief like he wouldn't believe. I enjoyed the fuck out of that series. And I think I'm 
back a couple of books from where she had been. It's been years since I've I've gone back to see if there's more books in that series. I should probably do so. Re-listening to Binding Words, I realized Sean greatly reduced inventing new things after he moved. There's, there's something great in the works. I mean, he gave his reasons for that. Um, he, he gave very, very specific reasons for that. So... I mean, it's not like he didn't invent anything after he got there. He just, you know, wasn't trying to push technology at that point either. Combination of chat wins and contest wins. You only need the last Horizons coin. That's amazing. Just joined is AR after Binding Words. It is indeed after Binding Words, BR. Um, so it, it's at the moment, it's Lux Voice, Antecedents, Binding Words, Aether's Revival, and then those just keep cycling, and then Binding Words is going to get kicked out for Heavenly Chaos, because Binding Words is going to end. But I write in a four-book rotation, six to eight weeks between a, each book, so the outside number is eight months from last publication to that series coming around again, is the rough. I, it normally doesn't run that long, but that's the rough. How dare you will become mil millionaires together? I mean, Andy, sure, great. Um, if you want to put us in for Powerball, I'll start paying you. Um, becoming becoming millionaires off of audiobooks, though, only if only if we use like the accumulation of everything and we have like a decade plus to uh to work on it. I will continue to pay you or split uh, royalties with you for as long as you will voice characters. I, I I will I will gladly throw my books at you until you turn me away. That's why you get first right of refusal on everything I write. Because reasons. Uh, anymore I don't listen to audiobooks exclusively because I don't have the attention span of just read anymore. Fair enough. Yes, on the, it's the bottom right, bottom left on my screen is the the next two books in 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 rotation plus audiobooks that might that are still pending. So I put them there just to help. But as for people who are asking after that who don't know the rotation themselves, you know. Uh, do, do, do. I need a damn it Daniel coin. Uh. I would need something for the other side of that, Andy. Security officers in the AL2. Damn it, Daniel, we need more vowels. I mean, fair enough. Fair enough. We can talk about that next month when you when you visit. If if you want if you want to help me design the other side of a damn it Daniel coin that we can like jointly use the the two of us, you know, you could have you could have something to give away and I can have something to give away. That'd be great, but we need something for the other side of the coin besides damn it Daniel. So, if if you want to brainstorm that, and then we can talk about it, I'm I'm all for that. I do have to create a coin for Heavenly Chaos. I haven't done that yet either. So, you know, oh hey, look, I've caught up again. Woot woot! I'm gonna catch up to you, people. Do do do. Uh. Sammy Cat has the damn it Daniel pool noodle. I mean, she can she can actually break out the uh, the Nerf gun again since since the Rug is gone. She can shoot me. He was afraid of the Nerf gun. Would you would you mind a very short recap of the new series since since you have asked, Andy? She can't get signed in, and Twitch is being an ass. Fair enough. Heavenly Chaos is a cross between. Cultivation and lit RPG. Then there are going to be crunchy numbers. They are going to stay reined in and not be stupid, stupid. Um, I have it structured. They are a very linear progression for a reason. It is all explained in in the first book, so you can understand that. Um, there are spheres. There are skills. There are ways to 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 increase them. This has all that progression that you would expect, and it's in a in a, in a standard way. 
where it is set in a very tight there's no like oh i just suddenly decided to increase jumping that's not a thing everything has a very specific tight focus on how things happen um the main character has dealt with abuse um main side characters have dealt with abuse and that is the story of the main character getting the chance to grow and uh that's i don't think i want to i don't want to I don't want to put more out there. Um, the main character had a has had a very terrible life, and he gets the chance to finally push beyond the terribleness that he's that he's endured all the time. Um, the main side characters slash love interests that he is going to meet have had their own versions of hard times, and there's going to be that that motion of how they slowly start helping each other deal with what's come before. Um, it is it is they are they are they are fresh adults. They are just out of graduation. Um so basically they're like eighteen. I'm I'm not good on numbers, guys, you know that. They're basically eighteen, so they're adults. Nobody has to worry about that. They're basically shunt off to college because they're holders. They are the people who who have who who are going to grow up and wield these powers of cultivation, basically. Um but it, since they are 18, you also have that unsuredness of young adults that is going to overflavor things. Gonna gonna have some flavor to go in with everything else. Um, I mean, without spoiling things, I think that's that's about it, though. Yeah, I don't wanna, I don't want, I don't want to give too much away. Honestly, I think that's a good one. It is, it is a cultivation series, but it's a cultivation that is not confined to one world. I will say that there are different. Each of the overarching kingdoms and empires oversee numbers of worlds. Um, so, um, and then I'm going to make sure that I very specifically call out accents for characters and make you do them instead of trying to redact that and then make you feel like you have to fit everybody into just like West Coast voices. And make your life eternally more difficult because you're trying to only use a very small toolkit when you have such a vast, broad toolkit you can use. Okay? Okay. But we'll talk more about that next month. But that is that is the overall. There There is going to be personal trauma in, in, in Heavenly Chaos, though, that has to be worked through. Um, so, and it's, it, it's, it's, it is not, oh, hey, look, it's magically better. I will say this, the main character ends up with a therapist because trauma need, means that it doesn't magically go away. So, where was I? You asked about that. Okay. I think I've caught up to everything. Death to Skippy and the... <laughs> a death to skippy coin yeah but i would i would definitely need something on the other side that is always the problem with with coins is if there there are two sides to them and you want them to be different because you want them to be a, effectively a coin <sighs> a world jumping book book with a female mc i will not write a female main character because i am not female and i do not understand how the female mind works and i am not going to do that i will not do that it would be an insult to women everywhere if I tried to get inside the head of a woman. It is hard enough for me to feel like I am doing even remote justice to the female characters in my book. I cannot feel comfortable writing a female main character because there is so much more going on inside the heads there. I like to think that I at least do women okay justice overall but i will not try to write a female main character i cannot do that i will not do that i would do it wrong and i know i would do it wrong i might i might feel i might feel a little a, li a little bit of emotion there on on the subject i don't i don't want to fuck it up 
as 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 opposed to a death of Ki Skippy coin, Matt. Um, if I did like a death to Skippy coin, I would probably do like just a skull on the other side, just to make it obvious. That would be a very easy coin. You guys have to understand to create these coins and buy them is like a couple thousand dollars to get a collection of them made and stored here at my house for me then to mail them out to you. So while it would be cool to have 50 coins of different things, I'm not going to do that. I do I do one per series because everyone has like a favorite series. So they're, they're there for, you know, to make that special. Or if you're a super fan and you love every series, you can try to do what Lost is doing. Try to get one from every series. But yeah, I think most females, myself included, still have a hard time figuring out female minds. Fair enough, Serenia. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> you said it, not me. I feel justified. <laughs> Um, but I would, I would totally work with Andy on a damn it Daniel coin, um, whether it's just for her or for her and me to use, um, a death to Skippy coin. Yeah, probably I would just do death for Skippy and then like a skull on the other side to make it easy. Um, but I, if, if Heavenly Chaos is going to be the next series, I need to start looking at getting the coin made for that. Cause I, I would like to have the coin when the book publishes this way. As soon as the book is published and people want to start trying to win that coin, I have it. Since I have the first book written, it does give me some things I can use to make a coin with. Um, the question is, is, some of those things I know don't come up in book one. That would be great for the coin. And if I put them on a coin, it would be like a spoiler then for the rest of the series. So I'm... I'm kind of torn on that as well. It's like, then I also want to get like the shirt made up because the shirts, by the way, guys, I am not doing for me anymore. Shirts are going, are only going to be going up on Redbubble. Once I give away the last of the shirts I have through at like Dragon Con and things, I am not making them anymore. You're going to have to, if you want a shirt, you're not going to win them from me. You're going to have to go get them off of Redbubble and I'm going to make sure the art goes up and you can buy them for my officers. I will get that limited run of shirts that I get made printed up so I can send them to you. But I am not holding on to hundreds of shirts out of every series. Like I have four, I think 400 Lux Boy shirts still in a shed in my parents' house currently. Um, Because I, I had them up on the store for well, like a couple of years now. And, they, you know, one one or two sold here or there, but they were never flying off the shelf. Um, next, Dragon Con, guys, if you would like Lux the Lux Holdings t-shirts, they're going to be at Dragon Con next year. I'm going to be giving them away. So if you'd like them for free, it's not really free if you're going to Atlanta, but if you're in Atlanta and attending Dragon Con, there will be shirts given away there. And then how and why and everything else will happen from that. But I am, I am going to slowly winnow my way through all my t-shirts. The only thing I'm going to have for loot to give away is going to be the coins. So I'm going to need a heavenly, heavenly chaos tattoo. I mean, you've, you, Jay, you were one of the alpha readers for it. So me and you can talk about what you think would work as like a tattoo for it, because whatever it is, is going to probably end up being like the coin symbol, the shield, the, the not work for binding words. Um, those kinds of things are what end up as the, on the coins. So, I mean, if you want to, you want to brainstorm with me of what you think would, would, would really look good, we could talk about that. So. Okay, guys, it has been an hour and a half. I have caught up to you all. We have, we have, we have, we have talked everything. It's because I try to make sure I get the best. I try to get the the super sh soft shirts, Andy. Uh, and and they do they do cost a little bit, like another dollar or two more per shirt. But honestly, for the super comfiness of them, as opposed to like a canvas shirt, which would be a little rougher. Um, yeah, there's a reason for that. I I want comfort too. I wear my shirts, um, all the time when I'm at conventions. Um. I don't wear them otherwise because I like to preserve them as much as possible. So, 
Okay, guys, um, we're going to go ahead and say it's been an hour and a half. I have, I've talked. We've, we've gone over things. I thank you all for coming in for, this la for the hour and a half that we've done this. I will get a list of names. I will uh, winnow through those names, and I will pick people, and then I will message them here via Whispers on Twitch. So please check back, like, tomorrow and see if you're a winner so we can talk about what coin you want and what your address is. Okay? Okay. Um, until November, I'll tell you now, November 15th, 3 p.m. Pacific time. It's a Wednesday. 3 p.m. Pacific time. 6 p.m. Eastern time, for those people who, who are wondering, is the next live chat. It's in November. Um, Andy, hopefully, will be there. At the moment, I have a soft commitment from her on it. Of course, how things are going in life and what might happen between now and then, it could change things, but we might have a, a dual person live chat again, okay? Until then, everyone, stay safe out there because life is crazy and the world is crazier nowadays. Bye.